I have, I, I don't think I've ever told this story, but I have an embarrassing story about myself. When I was a, a little kid, I was in Future Shop with my grandpa, and I was like playing, I don't know, Metroid Prime on their GameCube uh, setup or whatever. My grandpa was probably looking at like USB cables, I don't know. 20 minutes go by, I say, okay, you know that little kid anxiety starts to creep in where you're like, uh, where's my family? Where's my family? Um, I started to freak out. I was like, I, it's time to go find my grandpa, right? I walked through the whole future shop, don't see him. Walk through the whole future shop, don't see him. Starting to panic. The more you panic, the less you're able to actually like, you know, search very well because you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Then I went up to the customer service deck. I was like almost in tears or desk, I should say. Um, I was almost in tears and I said, Excuse me, I think I lost my grandpa. Can you make a call for him on the PA to come to the customer service desk? And they did, and he was literally like 10 feet away. But the most embarrassing part of the story is not that he was close, is that I was at the, the age that I was when this story took place, you probably thought I was uh, like five. I was in the damn eighth grade. <laughs> Too, def looking back, definitely too old to be that perturbed at, at having lost my, my grandfather in the future shop. What does that mean for non-North American people? I was like 13. Still just a kid, yeah. And like some kids at 13 are like, you know, living on their own. Some kids at 13 are like, I don't even say swears. But I, I was definitely, I guess I was closer to the second than the first. Yeah, I knew it was kind of a puss move even as an 8th grader, like I was embarrassed with myself, but... It's crazy for me to think of, because like that's where I was when I was 13, and uh... Sometimes you'll, you'll read like a comment on Reddit, that's like, oh, I started drinking when I was 12. And I'm like, you consumed an alcoholic beverage when you were 12 years old? I didn't even eat soup when I was 12. I was such a picky eater. I had my first drink at 13, 15... 11 so the other i guess the the aside of this the the flip side i should say of this story is that i turned 12 or i was like 11 or 12 when the millennium happened when y2k happened my parents were like you should have a glass of champagne and i like almost called child protective services on them basically i was like you want your 12 year old child to consume champagne i'm 12 i refused they were like, it's a special event. You should like, you know, feel free to, you know, you just have a sip or something like that. And I was like, I will not have a sip. And quite frankly, I'm disappointed in you. But then I, I feel like, again, this is just plus two farming. So I apologize because it feels like it's, it's too easy. But um, North America's like relationship with alcohol is like really bad. Because you're like taught that you should never touch it. Uh, until you're 19 or 21, which is actually, like, 21 is crazy. So what most, well, I shouldn't say most, but what many people end up doing is they spend, like, you know, 20 years with the, the mystique surrounding alcohol. Like, oh my god, this must be something that's, like, it, it must be, like, an elixir of the gods. And then when you actually start drinking, you make up for lost time and go crazy. That's why, like... There's the college stereotype of the the kid who was never allowed to drink in high school and then like the first year of college they're throwing up like every four days. Not everybody fulfills the stereotype, but but it does happen. Not me, OMG me. There's dozens of us. I still remember my first alcoholic drink. There was a very wealthy foreign exchange student in our dorms in university. And he said, do you want a drink? And I was like, yeah, bro, obviously. Been, been drinking it for years, and then he mixed me, uh, like, Goldschlager and something else, and said it's called a Dr. Pepper because it tastes like Dr. Pepper. And then I drank, it was probably like seven liqueurs in a shot glass, and I drank it, and I was like, that's great. That's so good. Let me guess, it did not taste like Dr. Pepper. It did not taste like Dr. Pepper, which is fine, but, like, 19-year-old kids do be doing that stuff. They'll be like... Dude, I, there's all these like weird myths about alcohol. Like the snake bite. It's a strong bows or a Magner cider mixed with a lager in equal parts. It's illegal to serve it at bars in England because it gets you too drunk. 
It's Jägermeister and Goldschlager. It's called liquid cocaine. I don't know why I'm doing it I like iced tea from Law & Order SVU. Equal parts Goldschlager and Jägermeister. Kids on the street call it liquid cocaine. Gets you so high. It's a John Mulaney joke, isn't it? I think I, I think I just stole a John Mulaney joke. Jameson and ginger ale. Kids these days are calling it a scotch bonnet. Already picked up two bodies this morning. It is indeed a John Mulaney joke. Okay, sure. 